Hi, I'm Tara with PDQ, and today we're going to talk about Microsoft suspicious activity, sus, risky sign-ons. It's pretty suspicious. I learned that word sus from my barista friends today. They're hip. Okay, <laughs> let's dive into it. This is in preview, and we first need to set it up in Azure. So here's the gist. Uh, if your users notice that someone signed in that isn't them, Microsoft's now letting them notify the IT department that that wasn't me. Hey, I, this, I'm gonna report this. So I'm gonna walk you through how to set it up in Azure and then talk you through what the user sees on their end in Authenticator. Okay, so first things first, let's go to our good buddy, Azure. So I'm gonna come over here and search for the easiest way I find is to just log into 365 and go to portal.azure.com so you're not searching around for nine years. Then we're gonna come down to security, authentication methods, then we're gonna go to settings. And just like we talked about, we want report suspicious activity. And you see it says preview, cause it's in preview, it's brand new. It just came out last week. Actually, I think beginning of this week. So the state here, you're gonna set it to enabled. And then down here, look, we can pick all users or we can pick a target group if you wanted to just do a test group, which you probably should test it out. You can pick your group here and then this reporting code, it doesn't matter. And then you're gonna hit save, okay? That's, that's step one. Next, let's hop over here to our next one. Actually, just kidding. I'm gonna go one more place. Um, I'm gonna to talk to you quickly about conditional access policies because you can go a step further if you want. You probably already have some of these set. This is a way to make it even more secure if you want. So I made a couple of these just in advance to kind of show you how you can use these in conjunction with MFA. So I made one right here that's called require password change for high risk users, okay? So in here, I'm gonna do the same thing. I'm gonna specify the users I want this to apply to. And then I'm gonna come down here and see how I say a condition. And over here, I have all my different options, okay? I can say, I'm gonna designate this as high risk and then take these actions. So come in here, take a look and just see, but I'm gonna caution you, you definitely are gonna be careful because let's look down here where I say grant access. I can also block access, so make sure you're not included in this group and you're gonna start out really small, okay? So just to talk about that again, first thing I'm gonna do is I'm going to make sure my state is enabled under this suspicious risky login under preview. If you wanna get extra crazy, you're gonna jump over here back into conditional access and you can make your own policy if you want. You can make a couple if you want to, or you can do nothing in here. It's just a little extra. Okay, once I've done that, if I come back over here to security, right here at the bottom, it says risk detection. This is where your risky sign-ons are gonna show up and it's gonna show you a whole bunch of information. And this is where you'll see when the users report to you their risky logins, okay? And then you can do various things here. But I wanna show you what the user sees. So I went ahead and pretended to be a user so let's start at the very top. So again, this is key. It only works with the phone and Authenticator app. So if you use Duo for your MFA, it's not gonna work for you. Has to be Authenticator. So I have Authenticator for Jim Hopper, my pretend user. This is what he sees, okay? If I hit review recent activity, this is what's gonna pop up for me. It's gonna show all of my sign in attempts. So look at all this information and if I click on look unfamiliar, I can say, that wasn't me, and it pops up. If you know this activity wasn't you, continue to change your password or secure your account. If I hit next, look at all these options I have. I can add another MFA option right here. I can also change my default sign-in option. So if I suspect someone has my credentials, I can make changes right here. Scroll down, scroll down. So I can change information right here. I can change more information right here. And lastly, I can also sign out of everywhere that I'm signed into. So I actually really love this. And what I found out is I did a little test. If I'm logged in 
to a web 365 instance anywhere and I trigger this and I sign out of everywhere and I go to sign into a different, like if I signed into Outlook, it won't let me. It prompts me for the password. So I really love this. So if I turn this on in my environment, I'm going to want to follow up with a user training so I can train my users and say, look, this is what you're going to see. And let me walk you through the steps so you know exactly how to handle this. Should you see a login that doesn't look familiar? So to me, these go hand in hand. You got to educate your users. Okay. That's it. It's pretty easy, but I think this could be a really valuable tool in spotting those risky sign-ins. Thanks for watching. And hey, don't forget to like and subscribe and leave me some comments. We want to hear your thoughts. We want to hear everything. Please, comments, give them, give them. Thanks for watching. I'm Tara with PDQ.